I shall relate to you the adventures of an unfortunate family. I'll be in Marshall. Lost a father through a time hole. Under disputes may have been involved as well. Uncle Jack is gonna help them. And he's gonna help himself. Oh, as the family chooses the shark for the finale. about home. Pussy. What do you miss most, Holly? Pussy. Horrible thing that happened to her. I still can't believe it's been a whole season since Dad left. Why did he have to leave? Didn't he love us? Well, I know he liked me at least. It must have been your Smilex cakes. Oh, come on. come on, Will. Be serious. Why did he have to go? I don't know. I mean, maybe he just looked all around and saw the writing on the wall. I mean, Sleestacks started speaking, dinosaurs were breathing fire, and then suddenly there were robots everywhere. Maybe he just realized it was getting to be too much for him. Yeah, I guess I can't blame him for beating it out of here on the first time pussy that came by. It's funny though, the day he left, Uncle Jack came by. Yeah, and it's kind of weird because we never really knew Uncle Jack. And Dad never really talked about him. What are you two little slee slacks talking about? Rick? Yeah. I'd like to see him again, too. Hey, Uncle Jack, could I borrow one of your cigarettes? <laughs> My canteen. Sorry, Phil. Uncle Jack only brought enough for the duration of Uncle Jack. Why don't you two just go make yourself useful and go get me some water for my still? Uncle Wally, I mean, Uncle Jack, Will and I were just gonna go to the- Do what? There's no pinball here, no Atari 2600 here, only chaos and death. Now you two start focusing on making some order out of this chaos by taking my orders and do what your Uncle Jack tells you to do. Uncle Jack, why do you have to be such a- Hey, what's up with Shaka? Well, I'll be damned, his fur's all falling off. Who's on to be No, that was me. I shaved the little monkey bastard. If he's gonna look more human, he's gotta look more human, right? Fit in. Whatever. Hey! Why don't you speak more American? Check us, see stranger come. From Magic Pylon. Magic pylon? Do you think he means a ship? Well, maybe it's a way out of here. <sighs> All right, troops. Grab your canteens, your holographic amulets, your crystals. We're going back to the land of the lost city. Which isn't really lost because we know where it is. <laughs> What the hell is that? It looks like a British police box from the 1950s. It must have gotten sucked through one of the time pussies. <gasps> Maybe we can use it to call the police to help us get out of here. I'm afraid the police can't save you. Damn it, Uncle Jack, you killed him! He could have been our ticket out of this hellhole! You heard him threaten us, didn't you? Watch your language. But that's how British people talk. He could have been a cop, for God's sakes! Oh my God, we killed a cop! Okay, okay, look, we have to dispose of the evidence. And no witnesses, right? Oh my God, he's still alive! He's gonna die if we can't find a doctor. I am a doctor. Let me get this straight, you're some kind of immortal time-traveling alien, and you've traveled through time and space with your companions, fighting evil. Time Lord, actually. 
Yeah, that's uh, completely plausible. Yes, and I'm afraid this crystal time matrix has confirmed my suspicions. Something very, very bad is happening. God, I know! Everything this season's looking like crap, huh? And if this occurrence isn't stopped, the universe we inhabit will slowly disintegrate. It could only be our sexually ambiguous adversary, the Tsar! Yeah, he's over in the mist marsh out in dinosaur territory! Uh, there's no time for dinosaurs, I'm afraid. Oh, why does that really be too inconvenient there, Doc? I mean, uh, we're gonna fly there in your magic salt shaker. Oh, what I mean is that the Tsar has already begun eroding time itself. Mm -hmm. The dinosaurs simply cease to be because he is erasing the past. Mm -hmm. That's a relief. Our dinosaurs look awful. I bet you see better dinosaurs all over the place. Holly, they may be primitive, but they're our dinosaurs, damn it! Well, yeah, look, now I'm sure they're not that bad. Nah, nah, they suck, sure they do. But hey, the sleeve stacks are pretty cool, right? They're, they're nasty, huh, kids? Like, you know, after dark, you can't tell how many out there. There could be like three looking at you. Well, yeah, I guess they're pretty yeah. scary. Yeah. Just low light. Yeah. Yeah, well, right? these sleeve stacks, too, are gone. Were they eaten up by time itself as no. well? No, by each other, I'm afraid. The lack of dinosaur meat resulted in a slea stack famine. Also, there was a popular dish known as the free stack. <laughs> the slea stacks say Alstrusian moths. Look, I don't have time to explain every small historical detail involved in the ecosystem's collapse. I'm Let's... sorry, Monty Pylon, but like, I thought you said you commanded time and space and all that horse shit whenever you wanted. Now you listen to me, Jack. The responsibility of a Time Lord is something with which I don't jerk around. Oh, wait till you see the mist marsh. It's just a swamp with some smoke. You always have to put everything down, Holly. Yeah. That's why we can't live in a cave anymore. Blow it out your ass, Will. You're the only one who benefits from the status quo around here. What are you babbling about? You got all the cool stuff. A pet dinosaur, uh, that shirt, yeah, you did. Uh, and you know, that ruby ring, and... You know, the unicorn! Now you look, I... Marshalls! We can stand around arguing about horrible design choices all day, but we must stop the zone. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And I can finally see if old Betsy here can put him out of his misery, that slimy jerk-off. Now, the Zahn's race is super evolved, but also emotionally sensitive. You can quite literally kill them with kindness. Yeah. I will, after I use a bullet.